Oh, oh shit, it's recording. recording. Hey guys, it's me, Francis Duden here. With the Mac is yours, reminding you always that the Mac is yours and you should be able to do anything you want with it. That includes jacking off, even though I don't advise it because I myself have lost a couple of friends by doing that. Uh, so anyways, let's begin with the tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to take a crappy desktop like yours and turn it into something more like mine. Custom wallpaper in front of this. Custom time with custom day of the month and day of the week. All with a program called Geek Tool. It's actually pretty simple, but you're going to have to follow this. Uh, all the downloads are in the doobly-doo on the right thing. Where you can more more info, yeah, that that thing. And so what I'm gonna do right now is gonna reset everything so we we can start it, right? Okay, so now that I cleared everything, let's start with the tutorial. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm sorry for not making a video in a while. It's just I've been bi very busy, and uh, your positive comments inspired me to do this one. So uh, let's continue, shall we? We're gonna click on the doobly doo. There's gonna be a link that's going to link you to this website, and you're gonna click on Geek Tool 3.0 RC5. And you're gonna download that bitch. Yes. Download. 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 Okay. And it is done downloading. So let's go open up that DMG. Remember, this is just the normal install process of Mac OS X, so it's gonna be really easy. And it works for uh, Leopard and Snow Leopard. I don't know about. Uh, one that came before house cat or something like that I don't know so just double click geek tool dot pref pane and you can install it for everyone or just for yourself if you want to be greedy but just click install you can disconnect this thing and now what happens is it loaded all of my previous uh, geek tool shells but I'm gonna show you how to create a new one you're gonna click on where it says shell and you're going to click and drag it out to your desktop, wherever you want to place it. Let's say I want to place it here. And there are various commands, which are going to turn to the command box. That makes sense, actually. And uh, the command that you enter is going to do something on your desktop. For example, I have right here a list of mine. Uh, for example, this. If I enter this into Geek Tool, into the command box, I'm going to get the time. And you can actually see it here. I don't know if it's too small for you. Uh, there you go. You can see it here. 6.27 p.m. Okay. And so you can customize this by clicking on the click here to set fonts and color. You can change the font to whatever you want. Uh, let's say I want letter gothic. And I can also increase the size to 88. No, let's say 72. Now, if you notice here, you see it doesn't uh, include the M of PM. That's because it's too small. What you're going to have to do is you're going to click on these two triangles. And you're going to drag it out to whatever size you want. You can also just click on the center of the box and drag it anywhere. And as always with the font controls, you can change anything in it. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's like the basic system of it for example let's I want to create another one and the command I'm gonna enter something else I'm gonna enter this which I remembered what it was when I started filming the video but right now I can't remember so I'm just gonna enter it and I got the day of the month now uh, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something that you need to know in order for this to work with your desktop uh, first of all you need to set a refresh rate and below the command box text box there's gonna say it's gonna be a box that says refresh every and it currently says zero seconds what that means is never gonna change ever so for the day of the month uh, what you want it to be is 300 seconds or so this means that every 300 seconds the computer is gonna check what day of the month it is so if you want to do this for time that means that you need to go to the time box and click refresh every 10 seconds so it checks every 10 seconds what time it is uh, if you don't understand the system it's probably because you're stupid I'm just kidding I'm just kidding guys don't don't kill me please uh, but anyways if you don't understand it I, I know this is a bit complicated but uh, 
on the doobly doo, I'm gonna have all of my all of my boxes and how I set each of them up. So you can just copy it and have the setup like mine. Uh, the font is called Sam's Town, and uh, there's gonna be a link on the doobly doo too. And so uh, that's actually all for today. I think. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Uh, thanks guys on all the positive comments I've read on the on the comments section in the, my YouTube page. And uh, thanks, three subscribers. It's a milestone for me. So thanks guys. And another thing, the wallpaper. Uh, I actually designed this wallpaper. No, I don't want to brag or anything, but I did. And so you can get this wallpaper at my Deviant page. Which is gonna be on the Doobly Doo 2. By the way, if you haven't caught up yet, the Doobly Doo is the more info box on YouTube. And so, that's it. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for the comments, guys. Thanks for the subscribes. And uh, thanks for the rates. Please favorite or rate even more. And leave any comments if you like my videos, because I wanna keep on making them and I need your support to do it. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Francis Newton, logging off.